Free, Radio Free, KJLH Comp from Los Angeles, Long Beach, and Inglewood. The home of the Steve Harvey Morning Show.
to Carl Cox.
How do you do that? <laughs> Goodness gracious, how do you do that, man? <laughs> Listen up, everybody. You're tuned to the best station on the planet. We're Radio Free 102.3 KJLH. It is Kevin Nash, and welcome inside the KJLH Quarantine Concert Series. Tonight, I'm so pleased and very, very happy. It's hard for me to control and contain myself tonight. <laughs> <laughs> my God, I'm so happy that she accepted my invitation. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Mesa. Mesa, welcome to KJLH. How you feeling, Great. Mama? You. <laughs> All is well. How you doing? I'm doing well. It's uh, everything's uh, you know we're in a different world now, so we're just adapting to everything. But um, I'm very blessed. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. And you look, you don't look like you've been quarantined and you look very, very blessed. <laughs> I have, you know, I just, um, <laughs> this is my quarantine makeup face. Oh, that's what it is? Gotta be. <laughs> For all the Zooms and the lives and all the right. stuff we do, you know, that we have to do now as, you know, musicians, I have a new way of reaching out to everybody. Of so. course. Of course. Yeah, we'll talk <laughs> about that. So here's the deal. We're going to take a brief break, everybody. We'll come back. Like I said, my very special guest tonight is Mesa. Everybody's glued to the radio. Everybody's glued to KJLHradio.com watching us. And uh, she's going to come back and perform a couple songs. And uh, we'll chit-chat and find out what's been happening with Mesa. <laughs> All right, don't move. Keep it here. The Radio Free 102.3 KJLH. The KJLH Quarantine Concert Series is hotter than July. 9 p.m. nightly with me, Kevin Nash. This week, it's all live, virtual performances. You can invite and watch with all of your friends around the world on Radio Free TV at KJLHradio.com and listen live on 102.3 FM. You don't want to miss Leela James. And Mesa is a Mesa. Leela James, Will Downing, Judy, and Mesa. I'll see you tonight at 9 p.m. on 102.3 Radio Free KJL. Announcing a giant used car sale at Worthington Ford with over 600 vehicles on sale and everyone is under warranty. Plus, get a 10 day trial exchange, including with your purchase. Pick a car, pick a truck, drive it 10 days, and make sure you like it. Choose from the largest selection in town. Find the car you love and drive it home with just $95 down. That's right, pick any car on the lot, new or used, and $95 down is all it takes. Worthington Ford works with hundreds of lenders, including. 
including their own finance company to get you financed. They own the bank, so they can finance anyone they want to. With over 600 vehicles on sale, and everyone is under warranty. Plus, get a 10-day trial exchange, included with your purchase. Pick a car, pick a truck, drive it 10 days, and make sure you like it. This is a giant used car sale going on now at Worthington Ford in Long Beach. Huge selection, huge savings, right off the 405 freeway, Bellflower Boulevard in Long Beach. And they're open until midnight. Our world has changed. When you venture out of your home, face coverings are the new normal. But the kind you use really matters because not all offer the same protection, and we all want the best protection right now. A highly recommended consumer covering is the Boomer Naturals. Multi-use protective face cover in sizes for adults and children. It's made with three cloth layers infused with nano silver technology. It can reduce particles getting into your nose and mouth, and many studies show how effective nano silver technology is with face coverings. It is also very comfortable and easy to breathe and speak with. In fact, I am wearing one right now. It's made for breathable protection, even for those with sensitive skin. These are in stock now and can be shipped to you from their U.S. warehouse. And these face covers can be used up to 30 days. Just hand wash with soap and water at the end of each day. Boomer Naturals is offering you a chance to register to win the right face covers in the Boomer Naturals Wellness Basket at KJLHradio.com. Hey, order yours today at BoomerNaturals.com. Use promo code NASH20 at checkout and save 20% that's promo code NASH20. Free shipping and handling when you spend $50 at BoomerNaturals.com. For the sweaty faces and the hidden smiles, the foggy glasses and the sore ears, the determined looks and the muffled laughs, a simple piece of fabric makes a big statement. I care. Let's all do our part to slow the spread. Wear a mask. We're in this together. Learn more at covid19.ca.gov. Brought to you by CDC Foundation. If you've been injured in an accident, choosing the right attorney is critical. Choose a law firm with the experience and success that will help you get the best possible result. Injured? Call the Barnes Firm now. 800-8-MILLION. The attorneys at the Barnes Firm are ready to help 24-7. If you've been injured, call the Barnes Firm now. Street Los Angeles Paints spokesperson, Attorney John Sheehan, responsible for the sad. A caring adult can make all the difference in the life of a young person. Forever Friends LA helps teenagers on probation form lifelong connections. Find out how you can help at foreverfriendsla.org. If you're currently hiring, you face new difficulties. Housing Wire could relate. They needed to hire a reporter, so they turned to ZipRecruiter and found Alexandra Roja. ZipRecruiter matched Alexandra to Housing Wire's reporter job because she was a great fit for the role. Housing Wire received her application only four hours after they posted the job, and just a few weeks later, Alexandra was hired. See how ZipRecruiter can help you hire. Try it now for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. The all-new Toyota Highlander Hybrid is designed to go Highlander. What's go Highlander, you ask? It means amplify your drive with best-in-class EPA estimated 35 mpg combined so you can keep on keeping on wherever the road takes you don't just go farther go highlander in the all-new toyota highlander hybrid toyota let's go places 2020 highlander hybrid all-wheel drive 35 city 35 highway 35 combined mpg epa estimates actual mileage will vary 2020 highlander hybrid versus 2020 competitors based on data at www.fueleconomy.gov as of 2 18 20. It's a radio free stay at home party with 102.3 with 102.3 radio free KJLH. Okay, we're back and you're tuned to Radio Free 102.3 KJLH inside the KJLH quarantine concert series tonight. We have Grammy nominated Soul Train award winning soul jazz singer Mesa in the building with us tonight. <laughs> And to my understanding, you're celebrating your 29th year as a recording artist, right? Oh yeah. 29. You don't even you don't even look 29. What's going on with that? <laughs> 29 <laughs> years in the business. In the ring light, baby. <laughs> huh? <laughs> I said make up in the ring light. That's the whole. Is that what it <laughs> is? No, 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 not at all, not at all. 29 <laughs> years. That is amazing. Truly amazing. Well, folk want to know too. So, how have you been holding up during this pandemic and? these days of of shifting and repositioning uh how you yeah, been getting through it some days i'm good some days i'm okay and then some days i get go through this kind of depression and it's like i'm still in shock almost like it's like a you know kind of like your whole world's been, been changed so drastically and uh 
I'm used to hugging people and, and, and all that kind of stuff, and I can't hug anybody anymore. It's kind of weird. Yeah. It is very, very strange. And I was checking out your schedule, too. I mean, you were keeping a very busy, busy schedule. Yeah. You know, so yeah, it has it been very difficult to adjust to this virtual space, you know, uh, having to do yeah. Zoom after Zoom and concert Zoom meetings and things of that <laughs> nature? Well, I've been doing stuff, you know, up to the last four years, I've been doing something on Sunday nights called Mason's Kitchen Karaoke Sundays. Mm -hmm. And at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time, I sing to... People who I, I, I want to say, people who have supported me through the whole 29 years. And so I wanted to give back. And the way to give back for me was to sing to everybody on Sunday nights and get them ready for the work week, chill everybody out. Yeah, it we, turned out for about half an hour now. It's like two hours or more. <laughs> I was checking one out earlier today. So it's Mesa's Kitchen Karaoke on Sundays, right? So uh -huh. w why the kitchen? Because it's located in the kitchen. I saw people bringing in food. <laughs> Tons and stacks of food. I mean, what? <laughs> Absolutely. I had some of them. I had special guests. I had Frank McComb on once and uh, and Don Tallman, the, the awesome disco diva. Right, right, right. <laughs> and uh, and, and, and uh, dance music diva. So I'm at the bring So I cook. I, I usually cook dinner and then I have people over there and we talk and, and I so and my you, friends you, come and dance and all that kind of stuff. So you cooking dinner live or are you doing the karaoke thing? Sometimes I'm getting ready to do that. I haven't done it live yet. Uh -huh. I've done some some cooking segments in my kitchen, uh, but I'm about to combine both together. Okay. Uh, in the next okay. few weeks. Yeah. Well, maybe that's the part of uh, shifting and repositioning. So next on the list, <laughs> okay. maybe a cookbook. What's going on? A cooking show? Okay. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, I do that. Yeah. Mesa's cooking recipe. show. You know what I mean? Recipe for. Huh? So I might have to share my recipes. I think. Oh, listen. L like, what's your favorite dish to cook? What do you like to cook? I cook something called black butter chicken. It's it's a, it's I I call it black butter because I just kind of mama it up like black mama it up for the because my 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 son and my his cousins wouldn't eat traditional Indian food so you know I love chicken I love korma and all that kind of stuff so I had I saw butter chicken I said maybe they'll eat that but I said well then I would eat it so I just spiced it up a little bit and then they love it it's like that's my dish now everybody loves it black butter chicken okay. <laughs> I listen. Sit, shoot me that that uh, that recipe so I can check it out <laughs> okay. for myself. Yeah, I will. Yeah. I'll listen it to you. Well, I have to say this. I am so very excited to have you on tonight. Um, I've been playing you. your music really for excited. many, 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 many years. Um, mm -hmm. I used to work for a little jazz radio station in San Francisco, KBLX, and oh, we wow. would play your music and Incognito's music, and uh, just oh, fell yeah. in love with your body of work. Your style Thank of music, you. your voice, and everything. So um, I'm happy to have you on tonight inside the Cage Lace Quarantine Thank Concert you. Series. Now, do us a favor before we get into uh, one of your live songs tonight. Um, mm -hmm. Take us on a trip, just your journey. You know, uh, just coming My into journey? yeah. How what what happened? I mean, how did you stumble into music? You know. <laughs> well, I was a student at Morgan State University. And my, my best friend, Kim Brewer, was singing with Stevie Wonder. And she asked him if I could audition to be in Wonder Love. And I passed my audition, but I had one year left at Morgan State University. And I asked Steve, I said, Steve, can I finish my last year in college and give my parents my degree and then come to LA? And all my friends were like, are you crazy? Like, you don't have to tell Stevie Wonder what you want to do. But he was so sweet about it. He was real cool. So a year later, I moved to LA and he was working on the Jungle Fever project with Spike Lee. And I, that was my first professional gig. My first professional backgrounds uh, on that song was these three words. Are you so kidding it's really me? Been amazing. Wait a second. <laughs> I never knew this. This is like brand new oh, yeah. news to me. Yep, that's how it started. So this is how you got your start through Stevie Wonder. Yep, Stevie Wonder. I sang the background with Stevie for. Um, about about seven to eight months, and we did a lot of TV shows like mm -hmm. Spike Lee to go around. We did, uh, I mean, we did all the TV shows. That's what Johnny Carson was. This was his last year, I think. Yeah. We did Oprah. We did all these different talk shows. Um, David Letterman, and all that kind of stuff. And that so was that was really fun. That was your very first big break into the business, right there. <laughs> yeah, my very first one. Wow! Wow, that's amazing. I had no <laughs> clue. Oh, I mean, yeah. I knew that he wrote some songs and stuff like that for you. I know he was a big, huge fan of yours. He would talk about <laughs> your music, you know, Mesa, Mesa, Mesa. But I had no clue that that's where you got your big break from, singing mm -hmm. back up for Stevie Wonder. That's and, awesome. So, yeah, so, then, then I uh, after Stevie, I, I was working uh, 
with another producer named Steve Harvey from Scotland. He happened to be best friends with uh, Bluey from Incognito. Okay. And Bluey asked him to send him 25 names of singers that, that, he, that they, he thought would be good for the band. And uh, he asked him, which one of these ladies would you leave your kids to? And Steve said, me first, still be first. He chose me first. And so that's why Bluey called me first. Uh, he, we had a conversation over the phone and I sang for him. I said, don't you worry about the thing for him. Okay. And the next morning, his manager called and said, you got the gig, we're going to fly you to London next week. And wow. in two weeks, I flew to London and I did uh, started working with Incognito. Now, did you stay in London for a while too? Oh yeah, I was there for four and a half years. Four and a half years. Wow. What a journey, what a journey. Yeah. Now, <laughs> now, now, prior to like your first big major, major breaks with Stevie and, and Incognito, uh-huh. Um, were you singing in like elementary school choirs, uh, church oh, yeah. choirs, or you know? Oh yeah. I mean, my very first time I knew I wanted to be a singer when I was six. My mother took me to see Pearly, and when Melba Moore came on stage, okay. I lost my. I mean, I just knew that was my my heart grew ten times, and I knew that's what I wanted to do the rest of my life. So, um, from age of six, I knew I, I was on that journey. That's beautiful. A beautiful journey too. Uh, I know you prepared <laughs> and set to. Uh, to give us one virtual song in the uh, Mesa's yeah. Kitchen Karaoke style. You know, <laughs> right. I see that beautiful, fabulous kitchen in the background. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you, honey. So what song are you going to so do for I'm us today? With, um, I want to do a uh, song that I do with uh, some great producers out there in L.A. named The Heavyweights. And uh, they redid, we redid for the title track of my last record. It's called Love is a Battlefield by Pat Benatar. We love it. And you, listen, we play that in heavy rotation here at KJLH. You know that, right? Oh, really? Absolutely. Really? Absolutely. Yes. Oh, wow. Yes, yes, yes. All right. So That's you got sweet. the stage. Go ahead and do your thing. It's Mesa, everybody, right. inside the well, KJLH Quarantine good. Concert Series right here on KJLH. <laughs> We are young. We are young. 
<laughs> Goodness <laughs> gracious, Mesa, you are, you are incredible. <laughs> I mean, you. that voice of yours, that voice of yours, and you've <laughs> always had it to 29 years in the business, and that's why you, you've yeah. traveled so much, you've traveled the globe, you've recorded. How many albums have you recorded so far, the solo projects? Um, I've done 13 so far, I'm working on number 14 right now, solo albums, yeah. <sighs> and actually to celebrate my 25th anniversary on August 29th. It's the 25th uh, year that uh, my first album, Mesa, came out. 1995, 1995. Yeah. And you did how many albums with Incognito? Wow, I've done, <laughs> wow, but 18? 18, 18, Goodness 18 19. Gracious. I, I have lost count now. That's crazy, that's <laughs> crazy. Well, folk are listening right now. They want to hear more. So what I'm going to do, you recorded this live at the Birchmere, right? Uh -huh. I'm going to play a song, a jazz song called Round midnight. Ooh. Round midnight. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> please take a listen to this. It's Mesa doing her thing live, live at the Birchmere. Round midnight on Radio Free 102.3. Here we go. It's on KJLH. We're going to still do the same straight ahead stuff. We're going to feature the youngest man in the band. The baby Ina Q. <laughs> He's so sweet. Mr. Leon Jordan Jr. This is my favorite Delonious Monk song. It's called Round Midnight. Ha <laughs> ha 
Did Leon Jordan Jr. Two play three KJLH. I look weird when I move like that. I need. I can't help myself. <laughs> You're like something's wrong with Kevin, right? <laughs> Mason, this is what people get when they go to a Mesa live show. This is what you do. Yeah, yeah they get a little better now. That was like 10, 10, 13 years ago. So the shows are a little more, re- little more. Uh, I don't know, refined, I guess, in speed. But it, it's a wild night. Uh, usually my shows, if I'm given time, can go to three hours. Um, wait a minute. R- r- wait, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. Run that back. You said your show is how, how, how long? Yeah, what? It's three hours. You long. can go three hours? Oh, yeah. That, that is come a lot of the time. Absolutely. That is nuts. <laughs> <laughs> that means you must really love what you do, huh? I do. I yeah. really do. And I miss it so much. I miss being in front of a lot of audience and, and you know, it's a, it's a whole different energy. It's a spiritual thing. It's a spiritual, you know, yeah. energy that it can't replace. So tonight, when you heard like the sound of that snare and the sound of that horn and that <laughs> organ and the audience screaming your name, I mean, how did that make yeah. you feel tonight? That's oh, I can imagine. I'm surprised yeah. you're not crying right now, right? I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I will. I will later on. I, it, it's, it really is amazing how it's a, it's a big difference. But of, of course, you know, I'm, I'm grateful to have this outlet, you know, to be able to talk, see people, and sing to people, yeah. uh, also. But I'll be glad when the world comes back to that part of it. Now, in, within 29 years, have you ever had this long of a break? Not being on tour, no. not doing something. This is the no. longest break you've ever had in 29 years. It's huh? the longest break I've ever had. It's really amazing. Uh, yeah, it's the longest one. So I really don't know what to do with myself. So I, I still have all these. I had, you know, when I first started, I said, well, I'm going to do all these projects. And I, I haven't done any projects I'm supposed to do yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's three, four months in now, you know. So yeah, I've talk- I managed to keep walking every day. I'm, I'm walking and doing my exercise and stuff. So that's that's what I can get in right now. Yeah. I've talked to a number of different artists too, and just the energy is not there. The good, positive, creative energy, especially, I mean, we've gone through this pandemic, you know, protest, I mean, everything else. I mean, I mean, how can you focus on being creative during this time? It's almost impossible. I mean, we're we're making music, I think. I'm going through some kind of writer's block a little bit. I hope they're coming out of that, but um, a lot of people I know are are making some great art right now. It's, It's, you know, it's going to be amazing stuff yeah. coming up soon. Well, I'll tell you what, I think you got one more song for us. I think that hour goes by so fast. It's crazy. I know. I know. Unbelievable. Yeah. So let me take a quick little break. and We'll come back and uh, and hear another one of your live performances tonight. You ready? Okay. Cool, yeah. Okay, cool. Don't move. Keep it here. All right, it's Mesa, everybody, inside the KJLH Quarantine Concert Series. Y'all loving it so far? All right. Hit us up. Let us know what you think. At Radio Free KJLH on Twitter, Radio Free KJLH on Instagram, okay? All right, don't move. Keep it here. It's the best station on the planet. 102.3, we're KJLH. These are worrisome times, causing a lot of stress and concern. And being in debt to the IRS can certainly make matters worse. Thankfully, there's good news. Optima Tax Relief can help you resolve your tax debt over the phone and online. Don't go it alone. Optima's tax professionals can reduce the stress in your life by helping resolve your IRS problems right from the comfort of your own home. 
Optima is America's most trusted tax resolution firm, having resolved over $1 billion in tax debt for their clients. And their award-winning team is ready to help you online and over the phone, even during these uncertain times. They'll stand between you and the IRS and fight to get you the best deal possible. All it takes is one call to start the process. Optimus Tax Associates are standing by. Take the first step toward putting your tax problems to rest. Call now for a free consultation. Call 800-587-5688. 800-587-5688. 800-587-5688. Optima Tax Relief. Some restrictions apply. For complete details, please visit OptimaTaxRelief.com. Join the Talk Talk chapter of Omega Sci-Fi Fraternity, Inc. and Options for Recovery for the 14th Annual Charles R. Drew Virtual Health Symposium in conjunction with Compton Alumni Chapter of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority, Inc. on Saturday. July 25th from 10 a.m. till 12 noon. Topics you don't want to miss, like controlling underlying health conditions during COVID-19 and beyond. Substance use disorders. Addressing mental health. The dire need for blood donations in our community. Avoiding scams during the pandemic. And the importance of social action and how you can shape the future. We're bringing the knowledge and experts to you. Please register today for the 14th annual Charles R. Drew Virtual Health Symposium at TatawChapterQs.com. That's T. T A U T A U chapter Q U E S dot com or call 310-222-5410. That's 310-222-5410 for more information. 2020 has been quite a year, especially for the black community. 7-Eleven on the corner of Normandy and Imperial wants you to know that we will get through these uncertain times together. Your Normandy and Imperial 7-Eleven family encourage you to support, reinvigorate, and re-energize black business. Businesses. Picture this, a world where we recycled our own dollars. Let's change the narrative. Your Normandy Imperial 7-Eleven family have everything that you are looking for and more. Meal deals such as two 20-ounce beverages and two slices of pizza for $4. Wing Wednesdays, 10 wings for $5. Try our proprietary items like Dollar Fresh Brew Coffee, any size, with authentic flavors. We also have 49-cent Big Gulps and more. Don't forget our famous Slurpees, Big Bite Hot Dogs, Taquitos, and other seven select snacks. Your Normandy and Imperial 7-Eleven family are here to help you through the remainder of 2020 and beyond. We are located on the corner of Normandy and Imperial at 11255 Normandy Avenue. We look forward to seeing you soon. I'm considering refinancing my house because rates are really low right now. That makes sense. So what's your concern? Well, I'm looking for a loan that is flexible enough to support my financial goals without me having to refinance every three to five years. Sounds like you're looking for a smarter way to borrow. Yes, I am. Have you considered the next generation? mortgage offered by Vortex Mortgage. No. What is that? Well, it's a mortgage that was engineered to benefit the borrower and not the banks, and many smart borrowers are switching over to this innovative mortgage because it's the only loan in America that applies your payment towards your principal first. Wait, what? <laughs> That's right. It's a principal first mortgage. You can just call Vortex Mortgage at 323-645-0645, but that's not all. It also provides you with 24-7 access to your equity dollars for 30 years so you won't ever have to refinance again. Call Vortex Mortgage today to schedule an appointment. 323-645-0645. That's Vortex Mortgage. 323-645-0645. Or go online to thenextgenerationmortgage.com. Vortex Mortgage, PRE number 02008351. NMLS number 1586619. This is a homeowner's alert. Interest rates are at record lows. If you're looking to refinance and pay off high interest debt or purchase a new home or just lower your monthly payment, now is the time. You don't have to start over with another 30-year loan term when you refinance. Griggs Mutual has the products. Conventional, FHA, VA, and reverse mortgages. Griggs Mutual has the rates and technology to get the job done. Call Tim Griggs today while rates are at their record lows. 951-685-8000. DRE number zero. 1924580 NMLS 1192399 Call Tim today 9516858000 to find out how much you can save on your exiting mortgage payment Call Tim 9516858000 to find out how much you can save on your new home loan Call to find out if a reverse mortgage loan is right for you Call 9516858000 That's 9516858000 Griggs Mutual 9516858 it's a radio free stay at home party with 102.3 with 102.3 radio free kjlh we're back we're back we're back the kjlh quarantine concert series 
on Radio Free 102.3 KJLH. Tonight, my very special guest, the fabulous Mesa. <laughs> Mesa, thank you for coming on with me tonight. I got to say no, that again. You. Man, this is I such a joy. so much. This is such a joy and a treat. And um, <laughs> Kimberly Brewer just texted me not that long ago. She's listening right now to the yeah, radio. That's yeah, sure. that's awesome. <laughs> so um, this next song is, is oh, how can I describe it? It's it's a masterpiece, and uh, and it and it's and it's written by a master blaster, right? Uh huh. Yeah, and Kimberly Brewer, right? Yeah, what's, absolutely. What song am I talking about? Have sweet dreams. Have sweet dreams. Can you yes. can you tell us what that song is about? Stevie told me, so I want you to relate what that song <laughs> is about, please. Well, I thought he he wrote the song. Uh, for Michelle Obama, right. for her husband, of course, mm. Barack Obama. Mm -hmm. I think he he loved the way she was. He had his back and um, and has his back, and I think that's why he was uh, inspired to write the song this, this way. Exactly what he told me. Yeah, Michelle Obama. <laughs> that's it right there. And uh, he chose you to sing the song. So, without further ado, the stage is yours, Mesa. Everybody on Radio Free, KJLH. Here we go. <laughs> Right by 
Fabulous, wonderful, beautiful, Mesa, everybody. That is that is a beautiful song too, man. Yeah, That's a is. masterpiece, and it's amazing I'm, too. I'm just saying, honored that I was able to sing a brand new Stevie Wonder song. It's amazing. I mean, just the and changes. His changes, his 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 changes that he goes through. I mean, every time I'm like. It's classic Stevie Wonder. I'm like, how did you yeah. know to go to that change? And he goes a acetone <laughs> up like, oh, my God. It gives me chills every time. Well, oh, listen, yeah. we are out of time tonight. So let me oh. say again, thank you so much for joining us tonight for the KJLA's Quarantine thank Concert you. Series. I will say over and over again that you are phenomenal, that you are incredible. Thank, thank you for you coming on with us, Mesa. And I want to give you the opportunity to speak to your audience, maybe offer them a word of encouragement or whatever, but uh, uh, the floor is yours to do whatever you want to do. I'm going to turn the music down and just go and talk to your people. To everyone who has supported me throughout the years, thank you so, so much from the bottom of my heart. Without you, I couldn't be doing this at all. I was a little girl, 15 years old, on my parents' basement floor listening to music, wondering how I was going to get from that basement floor to the stage and to sing it for people and making music. And you all have helped me do that my whole life. Through this pandemic and all the protests and everything we're going through right now, there is a, a light that we're going to come to, a new sunshine, a new, a new day that's coming for all of us. And as long as you just focus on the positive and focus on the things that are good in your life and, and, and have a lot of gratefulness for those things, um, we're all going to come out of this on the other side in a great and wonderful way. I can't wait to hug and kiss you and see you after the shows and, and sing for you live again. Thank you to KJLH for playing my music and Kevin for this tonight's special to me. It means so much to me. And Stevie and Kim and everybody else, thank you so much. I love everybody very much. Thank you. Oh, listen. <laughs> Thanks to everybody. Hey, so where can they find you like right now? Because since we all have to do this social media thing, where can they find you? I'm sure you got to be on Instagram. You got to be on Twitter. Oh, you yeah. got to be on all Facebook, my- your your website. I mean, if not, yeah. I mean, you're going to miss a whole a whole new audience. Right. So on Instagram. Well, you go to Mesa.com, M-A-Y-S-A.com, and I'll have all my links are at the bottom to my social media pages. And especially to Kitchen Karaoke. I'll see you Sunday night, 7.30. Oh, that's right. 7.30. 7:30 that's right. East Coast time, right? 7.30 East Coast yeah, time. Yeah, East Coast time. 4.30 right. PST. And I'll be there singing to you Sunday night. I'm going to tune in and check you out and, uh, yeah, you know, kind of steal do. some of your recipes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're going to continue with more. So uh, I want everybody to hear what you did, too, with this song. Um, You're My Starship, the live version from you. Is it okay to play? Ooh. All right, here we go, everybody. Take a listen. It's Mesa right here on Radio Free, 102.3 KJLH. This song was very inspiring to me when I was a kid. It came out when I think I was 13 or 14 years old. And, you know, I was going through puberty. You know, going, changing the whole world, getting hormones, going into a young woman. And I remember this song being so sexy. Yeah, okay. (laughs) No, it's more sexy than that sexy. <laughs> and I uh, played it, I don't know, 8,000 times. <laughs> and I cannot believe I'm getting a chance to sing this song. I'm old enough now.
can give it to me, 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 give it to me. Can't wait.